When you're designing a unit, one method that I am a fan of is just to look at sort of three categories. So on a sheet of paper, I'd like you to write the word objective. Put this at the top. And then I want you to set up your paper, if you will, with three columns, before, during, and after. So then I want you to do is, if you will, write down an objective. So I want you to think about a very specific lesson that you might be teaching. So let's use a science example. The science example I'd like to use is one about lava. The lava is the stuff that comes out of the volcano, right? Turns out there are different kinds of lava. So my objective might be something like this. Distinguish between the different types of lava. So in a flipped lesson, what I would think about is I would probably have a video, that's the before, that I would have them do before the lesson that would tell them about the different types of lava. So during the during, you like to have hands-on activities, at least in a science class. And one distinguishing characteristics of different types of lava is something called viscosity. It's kind of like the thickness of a liquid. And what teachers often will use is they'll use like a, a thick corn syrup and they'll change the different temperatures and it changes the viscosity. So you have hot liquids pour uh, more quickly and cold liquids pour more slowly. So you would just have your experiment that you would do during the class on the different types of lavas. So what I would like you to do is to write down the video with what's the content, write the specific content. So I'm gonna say types of lava. And in class, I'm gonna do this viscosity experiment. Now, let's talk about the after. During the after time, what I want you to do is I want you to think about what are you gonna do after. Now, these tend to be more like a, a project. And uh, these tend to be like bigger picture things. You may actually have like four or five different lessons within one big project afterwards, if that makes sense. You're going to do these projects as, as part of multiple. So you might, this is you know, lesson one and lesson two and lesson three. And then the project encompasses all of the lessons that you're going to do when you're doing this. Do you see how this type of a model, thinking about what the kids are gonna do before, during, and after, can really help you in designing a specific flipped lesson, or in many cases, if you're especially gonna do a project, a series of lessons.